here with our memorial wall. Um, all affairs that have passed away under our care are in our memorial wall, and each urn holds approximately uh, 10 to 12 ferrets. So when a ferret passes away, we get them privately cremated. We get their name engraved in these blue plates, and, um, and they stay with us. And if the ferret, one of these ferrets passes away, and if it had a favorite toy, um, we retire the toy. So these are all toys or beds that were a favorite. And then of course food stations, because uh, we always have foods out while the ferrets are playing. And because we have so many ferrets, we have different varieties of ferret foods. Mm. So <laughs> we have to try to please everyone. So part of our daily routine um, is every morning and every evening, uh, the ferrets get their medication. Um, we give a variety of medications. Um, ferrets are very prone to um, adrenal disease and insulin. Uh, we keep a list and uh, every morning we go through and um, all of our animals get their medication. Um, some get injections, but um, um, it's just part of our daily routine there. So this is one of the biggest play areas. It's uh, still under construction. We're almost done with it. Uh, some days it's tough because uh, even though we do have heating and air conditioning, uh, it can get kind of cold in the winter and kind of hot in the summer. So uh, once we finish with the construction of, of this room, uh, it'll be a lot nicer, more fair and friendly. But, uh, And this is our food station, so uh, not every house needs 12 different brands <laughs> of ferret food, of course, but because we have so many ferrets and one ferret will like this brand and another ferret will like that brand. Because most of our medication, our first line of defense there is uh, the regular conventional medication, but we also supplement with uh, aromatherapy and uh, um, we had a, a couple of donors who had donated a number of uh, oils uh, to us and blends, and so we go ahead and supplement with that and the uh, Bach flower uh, remedies and uh, you know it um, some people say it doesn't work but uh, it's not going to hurt and it might help so we're willing to give it a shot. Bedding, yep. lots of bedding is our incubator uh, donated by our veterinarians. The supplies that we use here at the rescue from paper towels to cleaning supplies, clean up stains and, and messes, baby food, um, puppy pads, and then, of course, we always have to have treats for the ferrets. So, this is the main rescue room. Uh, we're in the middle of, being a Saturday afternoon, we're in the middle of s stripping cages mm -hmm. and putting down fresh bedding. Uh, each ferret has its name tag, um, it, any kind of medical um, uh, chart uh, to, to keep us updated on what uh, medicines they're on. How, how frequent they need to take the medicine, uh, the foods that they might be eating. The only thing I want to say is um, we couldn't do it on our own. Us two could not do it by ourselves. We are so uh, impressed and amazed by the support we got from not only the local community, of ferret owners and supporters, but nationally. So, um, it's amazing that the ferret community and others have contributed as much as they have, that we were able to, to uh, do that.